Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students. Welcome to our science class. Today is Monday and it is the 9th of November 2020. Okay. We were talking about adaptations and how living things have some adaptations to survive, okay? They have adaptation to uh, either to defend themselves, to stay safe, or to survive, okay? So maybe they have fur to be warm to feel warm in cold places or they have big peaks so they can um, eat fishes like the bird that we saw or they want to stay alive and stay safe to protect themselves from predators and not to be eaten okay and last thing we were talking about that creatures they have customs not really customs, but sometimes you know them, you recognize them, and sometimes you don't. They have two different things. One we call camouflage, and the other one we call mimicry. So today we are going to learn all about camouflage and mimicry. And I really would like to start my st lesson today with a cool video to help you understand the word camouflage and the word mimicry. Are you ready, girls? Yes. Ready? Okay, good. So I need to stop recording. I'll just pause recording while we watch the video and we will come back after that, okay? All right. Sorry, yeah, again, Fadlima, what did you observe from the video? I see a tiger, but no one can see it. It is like the rock. It is the color. No one oh, can yes, see it. I, I yes. didn't see it, actually. Excellent. Only one when they bring it. Excellent, excellent. What about you girls? Excellent. What do you observe about animals that you saw? Miss, yes, Dad. When, when they said, when they said the bug was from Asia, I was like, my, my heart was like, really? It's from Asia? Yeah, uh, were you able Never to, seen it. Yeah, but able there's to recognize that there is a bug or even uh, an animal in the photograph or in the video? Unless no. he told you so? I, miss, I didn't see the fish. I didn't miss. see the fish or the tiger. Or the Why? What, what forbid you to see the fish or the tiger or the insect? Why you couldn't see them? Yes, Dana. Tell me. Because they look like this. They look like rocks. They look like um, whatever next to them is. So they were very. In the wood also. The wood. Uh, there is an animal. It's like a wood. Insect. It was an insect. insect. Yes. It is a wood. I say, it's... if there is somebody cut you, he will he will go from where he will know that you are animal. Yes. So. Same of a tree. If you put it like this in the tree, you will see a whole. Very tree. good. Very good. I'm impressed that you. That you say, whoa, how they will cut it. Okay. Yeah. Do you know you this is it. a kind of adaptation? This is yeah, a kind adaptation. of adaptation. What is it called? Um, a flag and mimic. Camouflage. Sorry. It's a camouflage. Flood. It's a flood. camouflage. So what is a camouflage? Can you describe for me what is a camouflage? The animal that is colorful or paint or... They were hide. Animals, they yeah. were hidden by camouflage. They are adapted to their environment to look like exactly the environment they were in. Why? To... Uh, why they were hiding? Why do you think they were hiding? I know what, so the hunter didn't kill them or there's an animal come to eat them. Excellent. Or sometimes they want to hide from predators or sometimes they can be the predator so they can find their prey. Is that right? So the tiger, the predator, have you seen? The, wait, the predator, the predator can be animal? How? Yes, yes. A tiger is a predator. A tiger, when a tiger tries to eat a deer, now who's the predator here? The tiger. Yes, so an animal can be a predator or a prey. It depends of the role it's playing on the game. So if the tiger is hiding, using camouflage to hide, 
then the prey cannot see it and it can find food. So we can define the word so camouflage. Tricky. Now so let's tricky. underline together. Should, should Shall we do that, please? Yeah, but I didn't have a page. So some animals can hide without trying. See, the, these animals are hidden by their shape, colors, or patterns. So this uh, called a camouflage. Okay. Miss Page, what? No, Miss, don't flip the page. I want to know Page what, please, for me. Okay, can you tell her please page what, Maria? Page what? Page 120. 120. So now you know what is a camouflage. A camouflage is when an animal is adapted to the environment, how he can, uh, an animal it, it can be hidden by the color or the shape or the pattern that's in its, uh, 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 their body. They don't want to, they didn't mean to, to head, but by the shape of their body or the color they have, they are hidden. Okay, if you finished, let, tell, let me know so we can watch a video about mimicry and find the word mimicry and, find, and let's know the difference between mimicry and camouflage. This is so tricky. The animal is tricky. But yes. the parent, this animal, like this animal, mm -hmm. can help this animal, I know, I want to know what it is. It's a rock, it is animal, it is uh, a, a toy. Yes, this is camouflage. This is how animal can be <laughs> hidden, but they don't mean to. They are just like that because of the shape of their body, of the or the Miss, color or the pattern they done. find. Very good. Miss, Very done. good. Okay. Again, to watch the video, guys, I'm gonna stop recording, pause recording, just for a minute to watch the video and come back again. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm just gonna show you something, boys. Okay, girls. Now you learned about mimicry. Can you tell me what do you know about mimicry from this video? The animal uh, me, 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 me. Yes, Maria. I learned about mimicry. The 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 animals they don't have to shoot like us. They can they can can. Oh, I don't know. Yes, you know. I'm very sure you know. They, they can and can they can change colors like owl owl butterfly she can be like the apple one owl and uh, excellent excellent this is a good, very good very good explanation thank you someone else what did you learn about mimicry from the video So let's underline together. Basically, some harmless animals look like animals that are harmful to predators that taste bad, okay? So some animals can pretend to be some other animals. So maybe they are harmless, but they pretend to be harmful by the color of their bodies or the shape or even uh, the pattern. So, so, for example, the butterfly you saw, the butterfly looks like, like a leaf. Yeah, or, like a leaf. Or the owl. So when birds try to eat them, they will be scared and run away. Why they are going to run away? Because they I'm think that- I'm scared from the butterfly right now, because yeah. it's scared. No, I'm, but, I'm scared. But, over here, but over here, we mean that some animals pretend to be harmful but they are harmless, but the butterfly is harmless, but they pretend to be harmful, how? By the, their body, this is mimicry. So they mimic the birds, so not to eat them, okay? Let's see examples in our book about mimicry. Miss, we're gonna write in our book something today. Yes, we are or... going to write, yes. Okay, first of all, first of all, look at this. Leopard. Leopard is camouflaged or mimicry? 
this is a leopard. Is it camouflage or mimicry? Hi, Adana. This one? Yes, this leopard. Is camouflage? It's a camouflage. Excellent. Why camouflage? I don't know how to say it. Because it's like um, disappear like this. Because it looks like the environment it, around it. It looks it like looks uh, the that's rock. what I meant. It looks like a rock. Excellent. So it's blend in with the environment. You can notice that there is a leopard over here unless I told you to look closely into it again. What about this orchid mantis? This orchid mantis look like what? Look like flower. Excellent. So this is also camouflage because camouflage. it looks like the environment around it. Okay. What about this monarch butterfly? This monarch butterfly is not camouflaged. Why? Sorry, it because is camouflaged. It is camouflaged, but why? Sorry, it is not camouflaged. Now I want you to read and tell me about it. It's mimical. It's mimicry. Why? Because look because at the monarch butterfly up there. They are harmless, but vic victory uh, butterfly, they are harmful. So they pretend to be one another. So birds cannot eat them. One of them is taste very bad. So when an animal copy other animal, this is mimicry. We call it mimicry. But when a fish, a frog fish, uh, sorry, also a frog fish, it looks like a frog. So when, something in the book you tell us color the iguana i don't know so you want, we I'm are going sure to do it now we are going to do it now now look at the frogfish the frogfish can look like a rock or a sponge it can look like algae animals try to rest on the rock others try to eat the algae the frogfish trap and eat them so the fro this fish is mimic them when the fish mimic, the fish is, have adaptation called mimicry. Mimicry is to fool you, to make you think that they are harmless, but they are harmful. They can eat whatever comes next to them. So this is mimicry. Okay, now over here, I want you to make the lizard blend into the leaf. What are you going to color the lizard? I want it to look like the environment. You are going to color it in what? Color it green. Miss, I want to color it green. In like green. green, excellent. And what do I call it? Is it camouflage or mimicry? Mimicry. Mimicry. Is it pretending to be another animal? Camouflage. Yeah. Can you hear me? No. Yes. No, it doesn't make. It doesn't let you know that this is another animal. It makes you think that it there's no lizard on the leaf so this is camouflage when it's blend yeah, in with green. so guys camouflage when it's blend in Maybe with one. the environment but mimicry when you think that this is another animal and this is not a lizard so does it blend or make you think another animal, think another animal. what animal what other animal mm -hmm. you them <laughs> Looks like uh um, Miss Me right, Miss Me right student lizard blend with the well, Miss Miss don't lizard Miss, miss. When you color it green, this lizard will not be shown. When yeah, you color it green, the 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 lizard will not be shown, so it's camouflaged because miss, it's it has in. Yeah. Yes. When a lizard go I mean, when a lizard goes to something blue or green or red, it will turn into that color. Excellent, excellent. To blend in with the environment. This is camouflage and not mimicry. Mimicry is when some animal look like another one, okay? Miss, miss. miss yes, Maria? I can write with pencil or eraser. Can you pen, please. Pencil, please. Pencil. Okay. okay. 
also plants they have adaptation just like this pitcher plant it can't get the nutrients that they need from soil so the plant pitcher holds water and trap insects for food so they mimic the the plants that they uh, they have water for them but they pretend to be harmless but they are harmful they can eat the uh, insect that comes inside them to take water or take whatever they want so this is mimicry so when an animal or plant are fooling others are making um uh, tricks for others they are mimic mimicry so this plant pretend to be harmless, but it is harmful. Also this one, blackberries taste better until they are ripe. Their better taste is an adaptation. It stops animal from eating the berries before the seeds are old enough to produce new plants. So when a bear looks for berries, they will not eat these dark berries. Why? Because they taste better. So this is an adaptation or a mimicry for plants. Also, this plant, this is a stone plant. You think that they are a stone, but they are not a stone. They are camouflaged. How they are camouflaged? Because they look like the environment. They blend in with the environment they are in. Okay, guys? Okay. So now we know all about mimicry and Camouflage. Camouflage, whenever is the living thing is blending in the environment and a mimicry called, a mimicry is whenever an animal or a living thing that pretend that they are harmful, but they are harmless, okay, or the opposite. So now you know all about mimicry and camouflage. Do you have any question, girls? No. No. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and for participating. Thank you very much. We'll see you, inshallah, tomorrow in Summit Up. Please do your homework and study your highlighted things that we highlighted today together. Okay, guys? Okay. Bye-bye.